man, what a great life. Watching TV in my beautiful home with my beautiful wife. Nothing could ever go wrong. Huh. Did you hear something, sweetie? 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 Oh my god. My TV! How will I survive? This is Fallout 4. And man, nobody does depressing yet hauntingly beautiful like Bethesda. Now don't you worry, I'm not gonna spoil anything story-wise here for you all, because Fallout 4 is something I think you should experience for yourself. Let's just say, it'll hit you in the feels, bro. <laughs> I also really love how the game begins. It provides you with some damn good motivation for going out and exploring this vast wasteland. Wait, is that a spoiler? Damn. Yeah, um, you'll be exploring a world devastated by a nuclear explosion. Sorry for that spoiler, everybody. Now, if you've played Fallout 3, which I'm pretty sure everyone has, and if you didn't, what the f*** is wrong with you? Then you'll be happy to know that everything you loved about Fallout 3 is back for the sequel. The fantastic gunplay, the VAT system... Damn, that's cool. The amazing atmosphere, the completely open world, the lockpicking, the computer hacking, the conversation system, the somewhat lifeless character models. Uh, I think he died and his corpse is still talking to me. Help. Actually, this is kind of an odd one because look at this character creation. It is pretty dang impressive. You can entirely change your look, which you'll then cover up with a hood or mask. Glad I spent 45 minutes on this. I would take the helmet off, but I can't find the option to do that and I want something to protect my head. So whatever. But yeah, some characters look great, while others... I don't know. She looks... off. Ah! Demon baby! Burn it with fire! As I mentioned before, the gunplay here is excellent, with a huge variety of weapons to use and find. But if you'd rather have something a bit different, you can also mod your weapons to improve every aspect of them. This brings me to the crafting system. Crafting in Fallout 4 is incredible. Just use one of these crafting stations, and you can mod out your weapons and armor to increase their stats. And this brings me to one of the coolest features in Fallout 4, base building. This is addicting. In fact, I believe a few nights ago I told my wife I'd come to bed in like 30 minutes. Then I found myself getting tied up and improving my base for a few extra minutes. Hours. Days. I do plan on going to bed at some point. You can build different structures, furniture, defenses, and even salvage some of this useless junk you don't need anymore for parts to build something useful. Grow crops, get clean water, basically build up a sanctuary for you and the residents living there. This is an aspect I really enjoy and made me feel like I was a beacon of hope in an otherwise hopeless world. That is, until I went stir-crazy. Earlier I mentioned the atmosphere, and once again Fallout 4 nails this on the head. Walking through this devastated city at night was tense. But luckily I'm not one to really freak out over stuff like- <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool. Honestly, it got so tense that I never knew which ones I wanted to fight less. The ghouls or the raiders? I mean, raiders have guns and set up traps for you, but ghouls are creepy and pop out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't really know which I prefer. Definitely not this though! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away! Luckily to help me out in this creepy world is my trusted pet. He's a good puppy. There are also several other companions who can follow you, such as Cogsworth. Mr. F face. Hey, f you robot. I'm taking my puppy. At least he doesn't talk back to me. Face. Hey! Honestly, there's a lot here to discuss that I haven't even touched on yet. But then again, I only got the game like two days ago. Which means there's likely a lot I haven't even seen yet, considering I've only pumped about 16 hours into the game. But I think it's pretty easy to see. If you're a fan of Bethesda games, you'll love Fallout 4. If you're a fan of RPGs at all, you'll likely love Fallout 4. Fan of shooters? You'll likely love Fallout 4. You know what, if you're a person, you'll likely enjoy Fallout 4 on some level. In fact, you may love it so much you wish you were living in this post-apocalyptic world. So you know what? Let's make it happen! Launch the nukes! I immediately regret this. And that was Fallout 4. It is odd how much I enjoy being in a post-apocalyptic future. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos. I've also put another video for you to watch right up here. You can also follow me on Twitter for some random thoughts. And if you really want to help out my channel, you can buy some merchandise. Or donate to me on Patreon like these other survivors. We're all gonna make a big city together and live there and call it Hive World. It'll be great. That is until I go crazy and kill all of you! <laughs>